Hey, welcome back to Gorilla Guitar. I'm John Rush. For this lesson, we're going to look at Dead Flowers by the Rolling Stones. A lot of people have covered this song. It's a great song. It's a very simple song, but the lyrics are really cool, and uh, you know, it's a fun song to play, and so it's a good song to learn. So let's look at it now. Uh, if you look at your outline of the song there, you'll see it's basically just verse, chorus, verse, chorus. But I like to break it up and make it verse, pre-chorus, chorus, uh, when you're learning it because it helps you kind of, you know, see it a little bit better. So think of it as verse, pre-chorus, chorus, and then second verse, pre-chorus, chorus, and then uh, musical lead, and then another pre-chorus, chorus. So here we go. Let's look at the verses first, and then you'll see what's going on. Look at your chord diagram there, and you'll see what I'm talking about. We're just going to go D, A, G, D. We do that four times, okay? It's just really straightforward. Uh, you can strum it almost however you want. There's really no wrong way to strum this, as long as you hit that one when you need to, the, the downbeat. So at first, just practice it with one strum. Do that over and over. Once you get comfortable with that, then you can kind of add some strumming to it. And that's it. That's the whole verse right there. So here's how it sounds with the words. Let's just kind of, you know, get the right tempo. When you're sitting there in your silk upholstered chair Talking to some rich folk that you know Well, I hope you won't see me in my ragged company Cause you know I can never be alone and that's the verse, all right? So now it's gonna go into the pre-chorus. And this is really the coolest part of the song to me. The pre-chorus is just A, D, A, D. Basically the same rhythm you were doing before, it's just gonna, you know, kinda of pull you in with that A chord. And so you're gonna go, take me down, little Susie, take me down. I know you think you're the queen of the underground. And that's the whole pre-chorus there. You can think of that as part of the chorus if you want to. I like to break it up in my head um, because it, it is a different feel. So now let's look at the chorus there. Um, it's just gonna go, send me dead flowers in the morning to the D. Send me dead flowers by mail. Send me dead flowers at my wedding And I won't forget to put roses on your grave So let's do it at tempo now. Ready? Send me dead flowers in the morning Send me dead flowers by mail Send me dead flowers at my wedding And I won't forget to put roses on your grave No, I won't forget to put roses on your grave So that's it, you know. There's a lot you can do with this song. Um, you can kind of, you know, won't forget to put roses on your grave. You can kind of, you know, uh, let it open up there a little bit if you want to. Um, but it's just, you know, it's just straightforward. The main thing is you got to get the downbeat right, um, you know, and get the changes on the downbeat. Your right hand can kind of do whatever it wants. Um, there's, there's not a lot of uh, structure that has to happen with that. You know, if you want to just strum the whole thing up and down the whole time, you can do that. If you want to just strum down beats, you can get away with that. So play around with it, get comfortable with it, and then when you're ready, you can move on. So again, for Gorilla Guitar, I'm John Rush, and I'll see you next time.